Democracy Day in Nigeria is an opportunity to reflect on our journey as a country and highlight the gains and gaps so far. It is also a day to honor the sacrifice of winner of the June 12, 1993 presidential elections, Chief M.K.O. Abiola. To commemorate this year's Democracy Day, presidential candidates of the two leading political parties have been reflecting on the occasion. On his part, the APC presidential candidate, Mr. Bola Tinubu, asked Nigerians not to lose faith in the nation as it will surely overcome its challenges. In a statement, Mr. Tinubu says, just like democracy finally won against dictatorship, I know that prosperity shall overcome poverty, peace shall outlast violence, compassion will conquer hatred, and goodwill defeats evil. His counterpart from the PDP, Mr. Atiku Abubakar, is challenging Nigerians to stay committed to the sacrifice of the heroes of democracy by ensuring good governance prevails. In a series of tweets, Mr. Atiku says, let's work together to fix our country and return the boom of days of yore. Let's kick out the APC. I stand with you all on the drive to reposition our country for greatness. Meanwhile, leaders of the country's legislative arm of government have also been sending out their messages to Nigerians on the occasion of Democracy Day. Senate President Ahmad Lawan says the day represents a milestone in the country's journey to entrench a democratic polity. In a statement personally signed by him, Senator Lawan says, on June 12, 1993, Nigerians proclaimed their preference for a democratic system that offers them good governance, freedom, and life more abundant. The statement reads in part, as we march on in our democratic journey, we should always remember the tenets and rules of the game, respect the rights of others, and faithfully discharge our civic responsibility as important stakeholders in a nation-building project. For the our Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi um, Amila, this year's Democracy Day the, is historic, coming on the eve of the 2023 general uh, elections. So in other goodwill messages, Governor Babajide Sonwolu of Lagos State says, the ultimate goal of democracy is to improve the lives of the people. Still in the southwest, in Ogun State, Governor Dakwa Abiodun, in the spirit of the day, announced the committal of six prisoners from death penalty to life imprisonment and pardoned 40 others. I have approved the committal, the committal to life imprisonment of death sentences of six convicts. Furthermore, I have also approved the early release of 40 others. In the same spirit, the Edo State's governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, has tasked Nigerians to uphold the ideals of the nation's founding fathers who fought for the realization of an independent country rooted in the values of justice and equity. Still in the South-South, in Bayelsa State, Governor Doye Diri has advised Nigerians to ensure they get their voter cards as it is the weapon they need to elect the leader they want. Nigerians should be ready with their PVCs to free themselves from the current leadership that has visited this country with hunger. In the southeast, Governor Hope Uzodemma explains that eternal vigilance over our current democratic process is a means of imbibing the lessons of June 12. And in the north central, the Benue State's governor, Samuel Autumn, has urged Nigerians to be on alert against anti-democratic forces. Staying with the North Central, former APC presidential aspirant and governor of Kogi State, Governor Yahaya Bello, in his Democracy Day message says, the nation's current leaders must not deviate from the visions of heroes past. Over to the Northeast, where governor of Adamawa State, Governor Umaru Fintiri, has pardoned six inmates seven various terms in five correctional institutions across the state. According to the governor, the pardon is based on the recommendation of the Council on the Prerogative of Mercy.